Hey guys, how's it going? So I just wanted to make a quick video because I got an exciting package and I thought it would be fun to open it on camera. Sorry, my dog's drinking water. So um, I will say I'm dog sitting two little dogs and my dog is here. So I'll try to edit out any barking, but let's see if she'll stop. She was just sleeping until I started talking. Okay, so anyways, um, I got a package from True Leaf uh, Market, which is a seed company, and I've gotten seeds from them before, and I was actually about to order some seeds from Baker Creek, which is like my favorite seed company, just because they have like the rare varieties, and I've had really good luck with their seeds, but I saw someone post that they have this end of year seed like kind of deal. So basically it's a bunch of random seeds. Like I don't know what I'm getting. So I thought it would be fun to be surprised and film it. And I do like, obviously this isn't sponsored or anything. This is just, I bought these seeds, but um, that's just my order form. Here is my seeds. So it has 40, seeds they call it a 40 seed variety grab bag i mean so they're seeds from 2022 so basically i don't know what's in here and it was a really good price i think it was like 25 dollars plus or 29 dollars plus shipping um which if you buy seeds you know that's a good deal because sometimes seeds can be like four or five dollars per pack so even after shipping um i think i spent like 37 like after shipping so it's still less than a dollar per pack which it's a good deal so oh, it's like a lot of seeds so I thought this would be like a fun way to build up my seed collection and, um, you know, kind of fun. So, all right. So it's a, it looks like it's some different brands. All right. Let's just, let's just go through these and see what we get. Um, the other thing I like about Baker Creek is, uh, they have the pictures of the seeds on the, the label or like on the package where it's like, these are just like a they all have the same picture. So I just like that for my own, like it's just easier to sort through the seeds. Um, but you know what, this is a great deal. So let's see, we got a broad bean, aqua dulce, aqua dulce broad bean. So I think this is a, oh, it's a fava bean. Perfect, my husband really wanted me to grow fava beans. So that's awesome. It says you can harvest when young and have them cooked or when they're older you can uh shell them so cool i'm excited about that i think they're a pulp bean yeah so they get 36 to 48 inches so they probably need something to climb on um so that's awesome and a uh, calabash calabash uh gourd some kind of i'm guessing this is a yeah a gourd long bat shaped gourd so that's cool i don't know see it says it needs to be pretty hot germination is 86 to 90 degrees so i guess that will be for next summer black beauty eggplant i love eggplants I haven't grown any yet but i tried actually i grew like one at my friend's garden one or two little ones before the whole garden got eaten by uh grasshoppers so that was kind of sad but um small sugar pumpkin that's exciting I really want to grow pumpkins next year. My whole pumpkin patch got eaten by something, deer or rabbits or something. So that was kind of sad, but I love pumpkins. My, actually my phone is sitting on a pumpkin right now um, as my tripod. So hopefully next year we'll get to grow pumpkins. Red Russian kale, that's a good one. I'm glad there's like a variety. It seems like there's like a so far a good variety. Straight eight cucumbers. So it's an award-winning cucumber. Straight eight cucumbers. Swiss chard. I have never successfully grown Swiss chard, um, but I've only tried in containers. So I'm gonna try to, actually I might go ahead and direct sow some of these because it says it's 59 days might have some time so i might go ahead and direct so some of these i might make a pile of stuff i'm gonna plant right now um carrots scarlet nantes 
I'm like the worst at pronunciation. Okay, so I'm guessing these are red because it's scarlet carrots. Oh, rich orange. I don't know, but I might plant some of those. Now, because I have some empty spots, another, the same carrot, scarlet nance, nancy's? Nanties? Besides, don't judge me. Okay, another straight eight cucumber. So there is some repeats and red Russian kale, okay. So there's a lot of repeats, but you know, I like kale, so. Uh, romaine lettuce, organic romaine lettuce, perfect. I don't have many lettuce seeds, and pretty soon I'm gonna be able to plant some of these, hopefully. I think I might do it like today because it's, we're getting a cold front, so uh, I didn't mention that I'm in Central Texas, so I'm in Austin, and uh, we've still been pretty much in the 90s every day. I know, it's crazy, like mid-October, like cool down, but. <laughs> Um, but we're getting a cold front, I think tomorrow, so it might be in the 70s, that would be awesome. Uh, another straight eight, so it's three straight eight, so I guess we'll be, uh, growing a lot of cucumbers next year. I also, like, wanted, I also am, like, fine with repeats because I like to share seeds with, like, friends who like to garden, and, um, sometimes it's, like, seed swaps, so it's, like, totally fine for me to have multiples especially things like cucumbers. I will grow those every year. So, um, broccoli, sprouting broccoli, and plant tight. Seems like there's like some typing errors on the package. Maybe I'm weird. What does 18-30 and quote mean? I think it's like some kind of error. I don't know, it says it's an Italian heirloom. So I might plant some more broccoli. Another ruby red Swiss char. Another ruby red, so that's three ruby red Swiss chars. I did read some reviews of people who got these and did say they got repeated seeds. So I'm not like super surprised that I got the repeated seeds. Um, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but um, that's just something you would wanna know if you're gonna order these, that you're not gonna get 40 different seeds. Um, but, you know, if you have friends who garden, you can swap with them, and um, it's kind of like whatever they have left over, so it makes sense. Um, let's see, I've got two of the broccoli, so sprouting green broccoli. Golden Sunrise was charred. That's from a different brand. I might plant some of those today as well. Um, organic Waltham 29 broccoli. I actually have some of these from um, Baker Creek and they germinated really well. If you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that a lot of my seedlings died when I went out of town. So um, I don't know if I'll have time. If I cover my broccoli, my thoughts are that I might build like a mini cold frame or something. I just need to figure out how to do that. Um, so I could have time to do more broccoli. I do have broccoli out in the garden right now. So, um, but I love broccoli. It's like, it's my favorite vegetable. So, but I've never grown it. I, I've grown it and it's got like last spring I grew it and got huge and it started to crown and we hit a hundred degrees on like May 3rd and it just, it literally died. Hit a hundred degrees and it was like dead. So um, I've never grown broccoli, but I'm trying this winter, so I'm hoping to get some success. So we have another of the same broccoli, 29 broccoli. Another broccoli, that's a lot of broccoli. Red cherry tomato, tons of tomatoes. Heirloom cherry tomato has excellent flavors and produces handfuls of one inch sweet firm fruit. I love that. I love cherry tomatoes. I just think that in such a hot climate, they just do so much better because they just don't need as much water. When, you know, we've been in a drought, we're still in a drought, it's super dry, and those big, huge heirloom tomatoes, they just need a lot of water. So I love cherry tomatoes. I definitely needed tomato seeds, so that's exciting for next year. Another one of those. Uh, another of the scarlet carrot. Another straight eight cucumber. I need to do, I need to find someone to swap seeds with. Uh, if you want to swap seeds with me, let me know. Email me. Uh, organic thyme. Oh, that's awesome. Hmm. 
I like thyme a lot. I have a couple plants. So I've got two packets of organic thyme. Um, I'm assuming I'll need to start that in the spring. I could also maybe grow it inside. I just don't have a lot of room in my house for plants. Um, arugula. I'm going to definitely plant some of that like right now. And organ sugar pods too. Some kind of pea. Snow pea. Cool season annual. Let's see if it's frost hardy. It says prefer, prefers cool temps, but it doesn't say if it's frost hardy. I might might plant a few of those. I have some uh, sugar snap peas right now. Another time, another time, four times. Okay. Anyone need time? Someone, um, someone swap seeds with me. <laughs> uh, red Russian kale, organic large red cherry tomato. So it's a different type of cherry tomato. It's a larger one. That will definitely be next year. Um, purple basil. Ooh, purple basil. I've never grown purple basil. And it says you can do microgreens with it. Mm. I don't know if I do microgreens. Not a lot of seeds in there. Need a lot of seeds to do microgreens. Uh, but this site does sell microgreen seeds, the True Leaf Market. So um, I've bought micro microgreen seeds from there and they give you like a huge bag. So if you need microgreen seeds, I'm excited about that. I love basil, oh my God. Another kale, crimson sweet watermelon. We'll definitely grow that next year. Another of the, another of the basil, and this golden sunrise Swiss chard, which has a little tiny hole in it. So I'm gonna open that one first. But I do like these seed packets. They're nice. They at least have like the picture on them. And then another time, I think I have five times. <laughs> so what am I gonna do with five seed packets of time? Oh my gosh. So that is what I got. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's, it does have some variety. I would say there was like four or five of them that seemed like they repeated a lot. And I'm, you know, it's just assuming that they have those left over. And that's that's kind of how this thing works, but kind of fun. Um, some things that I, I mean, I feel like most of these things I would grow. I was kind of worried that I was gonna get like, not weird, not weird vegetables, but like vegetables I don't like. But I think I pretty much like all of this stuff. I don't really like arugula at all, but my husband likes arugula, so that's fine. Um, I like Swiss chard. I love broccoli. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think the price is really good. Um, I don't know if they're still doing the sale. I'll, I'll put a link below if they're still doing it. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything, obviously, obviously, <laughs> but anyways, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share quick little video and share y'all share y'all share with y'all what I got and yeah I would love to know if you've bought seeds um I also am now happy that I know I will need to order some flower seeds for sure so if you guys have any recommendations for flowers that I should grow I would love to know I definitely want to grow a lot of calendula I've got some in the garden right now and it's actually looking good my struggle with calendula is real um, I really want to grow a lot more zinnias, which I'm saving seeds from my zinnias. Um, so I will hopefully have a huge zinnia field next year. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I sorry for the short video, but I just wanted to share that. And I hope you are all doing well. I'm going to get a garden tour out pretty soon, probably early next week. I'm hoping that it will rain like a couple days because man, it's dry here. So um, I'm hoping that it will rain and then the garden will like perk up a little bit but honestly overall it's looking it's looking okay there's a few things that i want to do and move around um but i know my garden doers are like real life so anyways we will have some exciting updates pretty soon and i'm excited to talk to you guys about some stuff that's happening but i don't want to tell you right now so uh there will be some surprises coming but anyways that's all i have for you all today hope you have a good rest of your day and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and like this video. Uh, I love to read your comments, so keep those coming. And that's pretty much all. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and bye.